Okay, I guess just for you guys, that is uh, three losses in four days to three teams near the bottom of the standings. Just what are you feeling right now? Like, yeah, I know it's always like, don't panic, but is there some level of like frustration, anger? I don't know. Um, I'd like to be honest with you, I think there's too much levels of, you know, frustration, anger, or whatever you want to call it. I don't know, negativity. Um, I don't know, you guys have watched this for a long time. When do we play our best basketball? When Giannis is eating chicken wings, trying to get two guys to miss two free throws, when he's telling Jad dokes after the game, when Bobby's running around, hyping the crowd up, when Bees is wiggling after he makes a three. Like, um, I think for us, being a veteran team, having gone through everything that we've kind of gone through this year, um, I think we got to be a little more loose. I think we got to be a little more free. I think we got to have the appropriate attention to detail, appropriate respect for their opponents, appropriate, um, let's say, discipline um, that we need um, doing the right things on offense and defense, et cetera, things Doc and the coaching staff preach. Um, but I think there's still got to be a balance. You know, we're playing basketball. Like, uh, we're a great team. We have great players. We have a great organization, great staff, great management, great ownership, great fans, great media. I'll give you guys a shout-out. You guys never get shout-outs. Like, we have a lot of great things going on. Um, and, yeah, we've lost three games that we shouldn't have lost. But I think it's been a while since I've seen excitement. I've seen joy. I've seen smiles. I've seen loose, free. You know, you frustrated missed a shot. I missed more shots than I'd like to this week, right? But, like... Started to see like when guys miss shots, their head goes down or they're, they're tensing up. And they're like, I gotta make the next one. No, just shoot the next one well. You know what I mean? Just shoot the next one, make the right play. If you're open, shoot it. If you're not, drive it, pass it, kick it, whatever. Um, and be excited for each other, be excited for the team. I think that's where our growth needs to come as we're continuing to get better with all the things Doc wants to implement um, and better as the playoffs come up. Do you think that's attributed to the fact that you've, you've had to concentrate so much on process. Like when Stock came in, it's two-man game with this and three-man game with this and defense. Not, not that you're not practicing and working throughout a year, mm -hmm. but as you've all said, it, you, it's like but you didn't have a training camp, so you're just kind of jamming all this stuff in. Yeah. That's a lot of thinking. It's a lot of structure. Do, can that... Up, happen in, in the game where you, you you're not really as loose and as fun necessarily as, as you like to be because you're you're working that hard does that make sense like yeah I mean yeah. I think it's happening like I, I honestly I think it's a balance right like you can't be uh, if it can't be a free-for-all you can't just be right. off the walls you know laughing joking not paying attention but like I think there is an element of um, excitement that the Milwaukee Bucks and this team over the last six years now has brought to the city, um, to each other, to the organization, to the nation, really, right? Like the, the, the world, hell, it's, Giannis is Greek, right? Like uh, there's a lot that I think we've brought, a lot of joy, a lot of things that an impact we've had, um, and it's through the sport of basketball. But it's also been through trying to get better every single day, and there's a lot of things we can get better at. But what type of energy are you bringing to the getting better? Are you bringing the energy that, oh, we got to do this and you tense up really fast? Yeah, we got to do it. But, like, enjoy doing it. Like, on every single day we get to go into the SSC, come into the Pfizer and play basketball for a living, right? Like, we can't win a championship in April, right? We can't play a playoff game in March, beginning of April, until the end of April. We're like, let's enjoy the games that are in front of us. Let's enjoy the halves, the quarters, the possessions that we're playing. Let's be excited for our teammates. Let's be excited for each other. Um, I think those are some of the things that we want to just make sure we have a better balance on. You know, I think it's something that Giannis has um, noticed. I think it's something that we've all kind of noticed. And it's not at anyone's fault, right? Like, you're right. Like, when the new coach staff came in, like, there were a lot of things we got to implement. And there's still things we got to get better at. But I think the approach and the energy that we bring to getting better um, could have a little bit more, uh, give a smart adjective that uh, pretend I went to Notre Dame, right? Uh, a little more joy. Um, on a micro level, do you think Andre, like, I mean, Doc says, like, I put him in and his play hard stood out. Yeah. And he's like, and so that's the group I went with. So do you think that was maybe part of the messaging he was doing tonight, putting in Andre and then rolling with all of you for, you know, quarter and a half? Yeah, I mean, look, 
Andre's tremendous. Andre's won a lot of games in his life, right? National championship, et cetera. Um, and he brings an energy to the floor every single time he's out there. You know, he'll, and I said to him tonight, like, don't worry about making mistakes, man. Go play hard. Like, and that's what he does every single night. And we can critique it and, and um, you know, help him continue to grow and learn the NBA game. Um, but he does everything you ask of him. He does it 110%. Um, he does it with an energy and a competitiveness and not afraid to mix it up and uh, not afraid to, you know, take a big shot in the fourth quarter that should have gone in, not afraid to volleyball spike something that also should have gone in somehow. Um, and so I thought it was great to see what he could do out there, but it was great to see the energy that he brought, and I thought uh, it was a great call. Can I ask you, though, what when there's a collective slump like this, I can't think of a better phrase, there's different ways to handle that, though, right? You can overwork or work really hard. You can have team meetings or player-only meetings. You can have a coach who's like, this is my way or the highway. Mm -hmm. what, what do you think is best for this team? Because I kind of think you guys play best when you're angry, when you have a chip on your shoulder, when it's less joy and more like being the hunter instead of the hunted. So, But what do you want from Doc? What do you hope, you know, because time's running out a little bit. No, I think... Look, Doc's doing everything great. Doc's helping us become a better team. Um, and I think that's what I kind of meant when I said a balance of joy and chip on the shoulder is a great phrase to use for it, right? Like um, over the last six years, we've tried to prove something, right? Um, I just think we've done it with uh, a collective amount of joy along the way. Um, and that chip on the shoulder, that attention to detail, uh, that discipline that we need to have, making the right basketball play on offense and defense, having each other's backs on offense and defense, things of that nature um, come along with it. But I think, yeah, look, we got five games left in the regular season, but we got to get better tomorrow. And I think we can't win five in a row without winning one in a row. We can't win run one in a row if, unless we get better tomorrow practice. So continuing to focus on where we are presently um, and continue to bring a balance of energy and chip on our shoulder, understanding where we need to improve, uh, just doing it in a way that I think can bring out everybody's best um, is an area that I think we can Look at each other in the mirror. Look at or look at ourselves in the mirror and look at each other tomorrow at practice and, and take that first step forward.